Lads, TikTok and YouTube Shorts keeps on getting harder and harder. So it's now more important than ever to have a good niche. So for the past couple of weeks, I've been on the hunt. I've been scrolling on that For You page like it's my full-time job. Some may say that's just an excuse for my TikTok scrolling addiction, but it's work. <laughs> it is work. Anyways, I found a niche that is not only generating millions of views, is actually also easy to replicate so that anyone like me or you can do it ourselves. It's also in a topic which is safe from the unoriginal content strategy because uh, we don't want to be messing around with him. We don't, we don't want to be going anywhere near that strike. So what is the holy grail that I'm going on about? Well, it's the then and now niche. Basically, as you can see from the video, what we do is we use AI to transform a before picture into a now picture. You know, it goes from 2007 to 2020, 25, and it just shows what an actor or what someone looked like before and what they look like now. And then AI kind of merges the two pictures together, which creates like this nice seamless effect that people absolutely go crazy for. Now, the reason why I know this niche is doing well and is going to do well for the future, because I actually used to run a YouTube page back in the day. Basically, it was like a compilation page and I used to make these then and now videos back then. Now these videos, some of them would get like 200, 300,000 views. You know, I'd just make like Disney Channel then and now compilation. You know, even 17 year old me was a hustler. But anyways, that page ended up getting terminated because all of my videos had copyrighted music in. Yeah, I, w I wasn't that smart back then. But anyways, the fact that I was making these videos all the way back then and they were generating views back then means that this is like an evergreen niche. You make these videos, people are always gonna find them interesting. People are always getting older as well, which is a, it's a sad fact of life, but people are always getting older so you can always make updated then and now videos. Now my videos back then weren't as good as the videos people are making today, but that's because we've got AI now. So I'm gonna show you exactly how you can use AI and the tools we have today to create these style of videos, to make them seamlessly connect to each other and how you can generate millions of views like these pages here. All right, so this is one of the pages that I've recently found that is blowing up doing this method. As you can see, they've got around 33,000 followers, but their videos are just blowing up. We've got a million views, we've got another million, we've got 7.4 million, a million, four million, 4 million, 2 million, 6 million. This guy literally is cooking in a kitchen right now. And you can literally see that he's only posted like a couple of videos. He's not even posted loads and loads of videos yet. So it's still quite a new niche. Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if this guy's made over $10,000 on this page alone just by the amount of views he's getting. Like these views are nothing to laugh about at all. And again, it's all original content because it's just AI. Like if we're making these videos. So it's a really, really good niche. Anyways, let's just click on this high school musical one. And as you can see, it's literally actually yep boom is from high school musical now he's into where he is now you got gabriella there high school musical where she is now this is the effect that we're trying to achieve and we can do this very very simply it's literally one tool that you need and obviously CapCut as well to edit it all together all they do as well is put like a little bit of that forever young you know music on it uh, don't at me for the vocals but uh, and they just put a little caption really super simple millions of views it is literally crazy that this stuff is blowing up now before we go into it there is also this other page now whereas this page does like you know your tv shows your movies and it'll break them down this one it takes a little bit of a different approach on it like it will actually, instead of going through different people, it will show the same person throughout different stages of their life. So like if we click on the Pope, you know, the Pope's a big one at the minute because he's sadly just died. But this guy, what he's done is he's, he's showing like a transfer from each Pope to the next Pope to the next Pope. And I actually saw this really good one on Instagram here where it's literally this woman's life. Like she's going through her life. She's how she's become a professional tennis player, like different ages of her life and all the stuff that she went through. This type of stuff is a different take on it. Uh, this is just a new Instagram account that is doing this trend. But as you can see, that video that I just showed you did 2 million views on an account that's only got 15 posts and does 7,000 followers. This niche is honestly so hot right now. Like he's got another million view video here. But like I said, this guy does a little bit of a different approach. So these, you can either do this style or you can do the style that I'm gonna show you. Doesn't matter which one you choose. I'm just letting you know that there are two options there available. All right, so let's just say we wanna do like these history recap ones. You know, you wanna do popular movies, popular TV shows, especially popular back in the day because stuff that people watched a lot back in the day, they wanna see where they are now. Now for me, I'm just going to do Stranger Things. I think, you know, Stranger Things, the new season's coming out soon. People will be interested to see where they were. And they were kids at the start. So, you know, what? Are, where are they now? So let's just type in Millie Bobby Brown. And then let's type in 2015. All right, so now we can just find a good picture to use. Now, I would actually like to use a picture of her like looking like her character. I think that makes the most sense really. And then all we need to put is Millie Bobby Brown 2025. And then let's just find a nice picture where she looks like changed a lot, where like a lot's happened. 
I think this one, it's a nice picture. All right, and next we're gonna go over to Kling AI. Now Kling AI is, is an image generator that I've shown you guys loads of times on the channel. They actually give you free credits every single month. As you can see here, free monthly credits have been added 116 and 116 back then as well. So they actually give you credits for free. So you can try this out for free. There are also other tools that you can use like Halo AI, which does the similar sort of thing. Again, so if you are, if you're not wanting to spend any money with this, you can jump between Kling AI and Halo AI. And I'm sure there are other AI tools as well that do this, but these are probably one of the best on the market right now. Anyway, when you're on Kling AI, you want to go to image to video, and then we just want to upload that Millie Bobby Brown picture that we got. So. So as you can see here, we've got the Millie Bobby Brown picture in, and you can see a start and end. You can actually click on this little end button here, dragging the other picture that we found on Google. Like, what did it take us two seconds to find these two pictures? And we've got the before and after picture. Now, here's where you can get quite technical with it, or you can just see what Kling AI generates. So you can actually ask the prompt to tell it you want to transfer from the first picture to the second one seamlessly. All right, so I actually just put into ChatGPT, I said, I'm using Kling AI to transform a picture of a girl from 2005 into what she looks like now in 2025. I want it to make it look seamless and I want to merge the two together with no cut. Can you give me a prompt in Kling AI to achieve this? And ChatGPT give me this prompt and basically all you have to do is copy this prompt, put it into Kling and Kling is going to work some magic. Anyway, once that's done, all you need to click is generate. And I'm not going to lie to you, that's like 90% of the work done. This is like the main thing that you're going to be doing when you're making these videos. It is super, super simple. All right, so it's been a minute since we last spoke. Kling has cooked up some magic here, as we can see. If we click on this video, it's going to transform into you know what she looks like now from the beginning now i don't like this but like it's not horrible like but like if we play it it goes too dark and then the way it morphs in what's the flash effect about i, I don't know I, I don't think it's the best that cling has to offer i don't hate this one i think we can use we can definitely use this one in the video i thought instead of just relying on cling ai let's have a look at some of the other tools that you can use so i actually quite liked this one here this one is Polo AI, and again, I just asked it to do the same thing, put these two images in. And as you can see from this video, she actually transforms a lot better than the first one. It just cuts off right at the end, so you don't actually have enough time to actually see the character. What, so what I think we should do is go into CapCut and actually merge these two videos together to create the perfect AI transformation video. Because AI is not perfect, and that's what you're going to find in a lot of these tools and a lot of these videos is AI is not actually perfect. Probably not gonna create you the best outcome every single time. And that's why I do suggest that you go around and try loads of different tools. You know, I'd start at Kling, I'd then try Polo AI. I tried another one as well. I tried this one called Crook Crayer AI. Um, this one went a bit weird, I can't lie. This one went a bit weird, but it's not too bad of an AI. Like for example, um, the actual end bit you know it looks like animated well and like you could use some of that if you wanted to but you know there are so many tools out there that we can use now it's ridiculous and there's new tools coming out all the time so don't just rely on cling use other ai tools as well because what you can do is you could quite easily stay on cling change the prompt up a little bit ask it to do it again and again and again the problem is is you're going to run out of free credits and we want to do this for free basically we don't want to spend too much money every day on cling you get free credits so, you know, you want to make sure you don't use too many of your free credits, just absolutely smashing them out. So that's why if you're using a bit of Kling, using a bit of this Polo AI, using a bit of that Create AI, using a bit of Halloway AI, don't know how you pronounce that, but that's another AI tool that you can use. You know, you're going to actually come out with a decent video that you can still make for free, which I don't think anyone else on YouTube is really telling you how you can do this stuff for free. You know, you know they're probably just pushing you into paying for some sort of software. If you are going to put money into any software, I probably would put money into Kling just so you can generate loads and loads of videos. But what I would say is that try the method that I'm showing you right now, do it for free and see if your videos take off first. And if they start taking off, then you're just gonna get money from YouTube Shorts or the TikTok Creativity Program anyway. So you can reinvest the money you make from that into these videos. All right, now I've actually thrown these two videos into CapCut so we can do a, a little bit of the merging. Like I said, I quite liked the start of that one. If we can play this one up until she like gets, starts standing up, she gets up. And then just before it cuts, we can actually use this flash effect that the, these guys have done on this AI video to create a nice seamless cut but like say if your ai didn't generate you a flash effect you could just you know go into CapCut, go into effects find a flash effect and then just put it onto your video now because the ai kind of messed up on our video and we don't want to waste too many credits what you can do to save these videos is like i said i liked this start of it because you know it looks more cooler that she's like rising up through this through the forest and then coming up onto here 
but then you know it just does a hard cut into that video actually then just go onto cap cut go onto effects and you can just click on something like vertical blur you can play around with this and do whichever one you want to do best but as you can see here she's going to stand up vertical blur into you know millie bolly brown how she looks actually i've just realized because i wasn't playing around with this that this picture is completely different to the picture i chose in the end um, so you follow the steps exactly like i said but let me just change this one out for the other ai one um, that we generated off the other AI. This one was actually generated on the Creo.ai one. Again, just because we could do it for free, um, might as well, you know, we don't spend any money on credits. It's a um, similar sort of thing, but it transitions a lot nicer because it's the same background. I don't know why I didn't cop that they was at the same background. It made it look a lot worse than it actually is. Again, so we're just gonna go to transitions now, go into vertical blur, uh, make it a little bit narrower. All right, so as you can see, that effect looks so much better than it did before because it's actually the same background. So this is how yours will look because you'll have used the same images and not being a bit silly like me. You can't really even tell that these are two different videos and two different AI generators have done them. It actually looks pretty cool. So we just play it from the start. She's a little kid going through the stages, da 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 da, change it in, boom. She's a Millie Bobby Brown. I think that's turned out pretty decent. The only thing I would say for her face goes a bit deformed and a bit weird. You almost want to keep that on for a bit longer just so you can really let people know that that is who it is. So we just actually move that there. If we go into speed here and just turn that down. So if we, we see that now and move this back here. Basically what that's gonna do is it's just gonna let people know, oh my God, that's 11 from Stranger Things. And then boom, she changes into who she is now. We also want to add in the music that the these pages use. It's like, like I said earlier, it's Forever Young by Adelphi Vila. Music is now added in and it sounds like this. I don't want to play it too long because I will get a copyright strike on this video, but the music has been added in. And then all you want to do then is add a little caption. Now, I say on all my videos, you should add the captions on TikTok manually. If we actually go onto this guy's videos, you can see that he's, you know, added High School Musical years later, 2006 versus 2025. You just want to add that text onto TikTok manually. And then that's it. that's that's basically it. You've got the music, you've got the videos, and you're gonna add that text in. Basically, that is it. That is how these guys are making these effects. That is how they're doing it. Um, like I said, you don't just want to be using Kling AI if you're trying to do this for free. If you're trying to do this for free, you want to try all of those different AI softwares that I mentioned. But if you don't mind paying, then you know you can use Kling AI. It will give you the most consistent results. And you just want to mess around with the prompts that you put in. You want to just be messing around with the prompts to try and get the desired outcome you want. And once you've mastered that prompt, and and once you've mastered the prompts that you're putting in and the AI softwares that you're using, there's no reason why you can't do this for free and just absolutely smash out these videos and create stuff like this. Like I said, these videos are getting millions of views on TikTok, on YouTube shorts right now. And But yeah, as soon as you have this first segment done, then you can just have it transform into the next Stranger Things characters. You know, you got Justin here, it's gonna transform him here. It's gonna transform him as well. And it's just gonna carry on going throughout the characters and it's as simple as that really to make these videos it's really really simple definitely if you're looking for a niche right now you should try this one it is generating millions of views it's still in the early stages i would honestly recommend this niche to anyone that is either starting out or pro because you've just seen how easy these videos are to make it's really simple really easy stuff if you need any help check out the free discord down below and i'll be sure to help you out with any questions